Tan Man and I are taking over FCS schools and the first person to win a championship wins. We'll be playing in an online dynasty together with my team being the North Dakota State Bison and his being the South Dakota State Jackrabbits. The twist for this rebuild is both of our rosters are starting with zero players, so this first recruiting class is incredibly important. We'll also be beginning in the Mountain West, but once you win a conference championship, you get moved to the Pac-12 and that's the only way you can earn a playoff spot. Lastly, we're only allowed to recruit three stars until we win a bowl game, and since our two teams are big rivals, we'll be playing each other every season on two-minute quarters. Hopefully, I can out-recruit him for any guys he might want, and the online versus rebuild starts now. Well, at least we're leading for two of our top targets. That's the bad side. I might get Justin, but you might get, you're probably gonna get Andy on me. You can take Justin, I'll take Andy. That's a fair okay, trade-off. We, we, we have a deal. Okay, we have That's a fine. deal. Yeah! Let's go, Justin Thomas, Justin Whitaker, Derek McFadden. The rest of the board looks really awesome. I'm pretty happy with how the things are going. We do have some battles, though, with Mr. Uh, Bordeaux for Shannon Clemens and also Daniel Martins. On my side of things, I still haven't gotten a single commit. And yes, I am competing for these two players with Tan Man. Well, we lost our second visit week 49 to 0. But thankfully, that didn't stop all of these guys from coming to our school, including Alan Keenan, who we beat out Tan Man for. This is the first big tab transfer request. Please, Did we get please, anybody? Good. Okay. Yes, okay. That's, that's that's bad. That's I know people want to come play for you. Come on, Sensei. I'm going to be devastated. Is that Cade McNamara's brother? All right, so this is going to be my board for signing day. We're going after Shannon instead of Daniel because we already have a defensive tackle committed. And the rest of these guys, we have the lead for. Just really hoping they sign here. I am going all in on Daniel, and you can have Shannon if you got him. This ended up working out pretty well. We got what we wanted, both of us, and we I just dumped points in the Daniel for no reason. Then. I finished with the 65th best recruiting class. I'm not sure where that's going to stack up against yours. And I'm still not quite sure how I feel about all these guys. I did go after quite a few Jucos, but I also have some high overall guys that are freshmen, which will develop very nicely. Ended up with a top 50 class, which was above Mr. Bordeaux, but that's just because we had a lot of guys work in. Sadly, we only signed 15 guys on their board, but there is a lot of quality here, and there's a lot of old guys as well so next couple years we need to go after some freshmen oh you're red shirt in the walk-on there is no reason to red shirt them they're 40 uh, overalls. We're, we're, we're gonna red shirt them we're both projected to finish at the bottom of the conference so you have a better team than me going into this first year i am projected to be two oh, better than you even if we're at the bottom of the list so recruiting wise these are our big boys we're going for all of them we need them they're coming for a visit this week against fcs southeast you can't be serious. like how okay that's good they shouldn't have committed to you but you'll have a lead well it is time for the big game i have 12 people on a visit all against south dakota state versus tan man and going into this one somehow we're two and two and i am not sure how we beat fresno state we're zero and four and i don't quite know how because yeah, i was thinking we'd win one of these fcs games and we won none of them got a higher overall team i have the way better offense tanner just go out there and execute i think this is just a sick stadium get in there Oh, gosh. Go, go, no, go, go, no. King, go. Come on. Does the punt return defense get it just done? Run, it does just not. Run, just run. 86. Oh, we ran him over two. Five seconds left in the half. Third and goal. I'm expecting a run commit, but. There we go. Oh, no. Okay. This is it. Come on. Yes. Well, I don't know what he's supposed to do right there. He just had Spider Man jump above him. Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. Right. No. Let's go. Come on, boy. I'm going to please. Oh, shoot. He might be gone. That's a Dude, there's dog. no way he was able to do that. We'll go with some trickery. Some trickery. Tackle. Get a block. Get over there, Hale. Get a block. Come on. Yes. There's no yes. Gates. That's a defense. Gates. Are you serious? Gates. Go. I threw that with 100% confidence. How did he jump? I think every one of these two-minute rivalry games are going to be super fun. Nothing's Please. open. Oh, Dude, Foster's kind of Fumble, fumble. Foster. Dude, there's just no shit. Foster. Wait, no. This is great to start our thing in the Fargo Dome with a win. After that result, there are seven people that committed to the program, including a ton of people that we are battling it out with Tan Man for. And I'm thrilled that we stole Phil Ryan. Uh, You're 0 and 18. My <laughs> team's better than yours, and I keep kind of losing. I'm hoping you don't beat me out for these two. No reason we should be losing to 1 and 6 San Diego State by 42. Let's not act like we don't have 63 overall teams right now. If I could just get Logan and Troy with those two guys the class still sucks but it makes it a lot better we lost every single game including all three fcs games finished in last place so yeah it was a great season all the way around i'm really proud of the team what they put together recruiting is also going horribly uh his class looks 10 times better than mine we lost a lot of guys because we lost to him in our head-to-head -head games and you can imagine how happy i am taking a look at all of these guys we have 17 people that have already committed and i'm hoping that we can get a full 25 player recruiting class sensei gumbo got fired uh 
I still don't know how we were not able to beat a single FCS school. Oh, by the way, by the way, I'm on the hot seat. Dude, I need to beat you next year. I need to get you fired. Oh, these transfers are terrible. We're not going to get Logan. There's just no point of even trying. Either Cal or uh, Mr. Bordeaux, because I don't have enough points. But we're trying to get the rest of the guys on the board, like Troy Fagan, and Brett Lewis. I mean, the class is awful. We just got to try and get the scraps that we have left. I'm not quite sure what Tan Man's going to do, but I've decided to go all in on Logan. I really need him, and that's my goal. Well, just like expected, Logan committed. He got Troy, but Aaron Adams, a 70 overall quarterback, came to us. And I know for a fact we out recruited him with this class by far because we ended up finishing inside the top 50, just like he did last year at 45. 92nd of the country. Things just seem to somehow only get worse. Greg and Ron just are not signing anywhere. And our class is, it's not good. I mean, I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. It's better than I, I thought. I told you, I told you I get a walk on. Oh That's my a God. random walk on. Oh, yes, dude. I, you never, if you saw this kid on my board, you would have taken notes. You know, your break. recruiting class was so bad that I can't even be upset. I think my team will be better this year. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, oh, your overalls are actually a lot higher. Maybe not. My quarterback position is a lot better looking than yours. To start year number three, I am projected to finish a little bit above him. We are both 77 overall teams. And that's a huge jump from last year because we are both chilling around 60 overall. And I think these guys are gonna be able to get it done. I've already gotten a lot of good young players onto the roster. So we'll see how season three goes, but I am on the hot seat. You put literally every single guy I'm going after on your board. I just went through and looked and it was every single one. You can't get all of them, can you? You'll have to concede some of them to me. Please lose. Yes. You cannot act. This is, I'm a C plus. They're a D. How? You're on a 25 game losing streak. That's how. If I can start out the year with a win against FCS Southeast, I won't get fired. But if I get fired and I lose, we're in trouble. Please. Okay. Yes. It cannot happen again. Please do not happen again. Please. Okay, we're fine. I have to beat you. Everybody's coming for a visit that week. Losing to North Dakota would be terrible. Oh my gosh. Yes! Yes! Well, it is definitely not ideal to start out with two losses to FCS schools, so I am jumping into this game. And I'm also not too happy with the recruits we have on the board besides a couple JUCOs, so even though they're on a visit, I'm not sure if I even want them to commit. Going into halftime up by 10 isn't bad. And thankfully, it would never get closer than that, as we had a great second half and we're going to win by 14. Well, thankfully, that result meant that these five players have committed to the program. Open up the season, lose it to another FCS school, so that made it 0-25, but we did bounce back, back to back weeks, and then uh, got clobbered by Hawaii. And for this next game, we're playing Bordeaux, and we have eight guys visiting. We really need to win this game. This year, the game is at your place. The first drive should end with a touchdown. Just like last year, I'm jumping over this lineman. Third and 14. Come on. Oh, you're scrambling. That's that should have been a pick. He's open. He's open. No. Yes. Oh, that should have been a pick. Probably a pick six. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Oh, fumble, fumble. How many times have you ran and don't, this game is unbelievable. I'm going to have to be smart. Take my three and the half up 10 to zero. That is incredible. We need to score fast guys. Cause we need to stop on defense too. Yeah. Catch go touch up. Touch no, up. No, Lewis. Don't no. be caught by a linebacker. No. Yes. Let's go. Third and 14. I'm going to have to take the, oh yes. gosh. Yes. Oh gosh. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> let's go. Come on, let's go. There's no way that end just picked that off. <laughs> No, no, hit him. Let's go. Yes, thank you. Good catch. All right. Go at the counter. Oh my God, let's get off a block. Get out. Dude, that was a good cutback. Holy. Go, 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 go. Thank you. Go. Please be fast enough. Okay. I'm going to have to score. Happen. Don't you dare get toasted. Don't you dare get toasted. No. Please, no. Please, no. Barely edging it out. I think I won by three last time as well. After losing three straight, I've switched our offense back to the option, and against Colorado State, it's not going to work. On the bright side, quite a few people are visiting, so I'm starting to build a little bit of depth with these recruits. Our season just hasn't gone well at all. We're three and seven, one and six in the conference. Never the loss to Bordeaux, we lost four of our last five, it looks like. And things haven't gone any better for me, as we've lost five straight as well, putting us at three and seven. For week 13, we play the conference big dog, Boise State. Let's just try and shock the world. Second and goal. High stakes situation. Lots of pressure on me. Just run, Mike. Mike. Oh, I'm complaining all this. I'm uh, I bet. No, you here. can't risk it. I'm not going to lose off some heebie jeebie BS like that. Yes, please. I swear. Let's just go. Safety? <laughs> I get rewarded for being an idiot. Oh, my God. You can't be serious. Please, 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 please. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You you did not just do that. <laughs> I've never seen anybody lose a game like that. Why? <laughs> Five minutes ago, I watched you blow a game you should have won, and now I'm definitely not going to get fired. Job security is at 74%. Another season of sucking to know it's surprise. I mean, it's just, it's, it's a ritual at this point. As for me, this is our second year going four and eight, so I'm not too upset about it. Well, you guys are all Jukos from a couple years ago. We were hoping you guys would help us turn this uh, program around, and that did not happen at all. The Bison are also going to lose a couple of Juco seniors. Really small class this year for us, but we did find some really good guys like Ben Revis. 70th class in the country. Would have liked to sign more guys, but... 
maybe we can do that next year. And with 25 recruits signed, I finished with the 30th best class in the country. Although there aren't that many high overalls, I ended up getting everybody I went after. And once again, this was all about building a ton of depth for the future. Since the second year recruiting went awfully, uh, North Dakota State's got a five overall advantage on us. For the team this year, honestly, it, it's got some high overall guys. It's just there's not much like spread talent. Like a quarterback, we're set for the future. Jake McNamara is the guy, and then Troy Fagan's going to be the guy after him. But positions like cornerback are just awful. As for my team, I'm very happy with the depth we have on it. It is an 84 overall, and Matt Foster is up to an 85. <laughs> are you <laughs> I'm going to lose my mind, dude. I what happened? We lost. You know what happened. Like, dude, <laughs> how do we keep losing to FI? you are you serious how are we yes why? yes why is fiu so good i'm not sure we're ever escaping this conference i'm not scheduling fiu next year by the way well, visit week against Probably. one and three unlv is very scary so no yes. this is the yes. downfall of north yes. dakota state football i was not expecting to start the year with two losses but i can't say it's all been terrible on visit week against unlv even though we lost all of these guys ended up committing to our program and i'd love to say that's good news but you're about to hear why it is not good news at all we're finally getting some fortunate luck we're four and one i don't know what happened week one we're just gonna act like it never happened but since then we won four straight games or it's been really good. This week, though, we're playing Bordeaux, and I've lost two in a row. I think my team's way better. I think this is going to be a tough one. Hey, I got the I got the superior quarterback, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, my god. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Go, no go, go. Way. Oh, please, There's please, no please. way. Man, don't get caught. Please don't get caught. Swerve. Swerve back. That's a run. Get in there. But what are you doing on fourth and goal? No. 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 That's good. good. Ooh, yeah. Yep. It's the slow corner. Dude, that's not even the guy I threw it to. I don't know what you oh mean. My oh my gosh, God, Thomas this guy's is fast. <laughs> no. Holy, let's go. Uh. <laughs> this is, okay, <laughs> whatever, bro. Whatever. Go, go, Hass. Whatever, dude. Oh my Just gosh. whatever. Your quarterback's oh. Usain Bolt with Tom, with Tom Brady. <laughs> I'm talking about your punter. I'm still pissed off. Oh no, that. oh no. Oh gosh. Thank you, oh, finally. No. Six, please. God dang, I needed six right there. Oh, stop it. I'm not an idiot. Oh, you might have missed that. That's close. Uh, oh, that guy's open. There's no way you should have gotten that much time. Oh, Huffman. Okay. Huffman. Whatever Huffman, that was. Huffman. I don't know how that just occurred. No. Jerome. Okay. Okay, it's fine. Actually, I'm up three. Oh, that's fine I'll with me. It. Take it. Oh, you're fine with me. Pitch it. Go. Go. Yes. Come on. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Come on. No. <laughs> Is it possible to get into field goal range at this point? Yes, yes, and hold on to it. No way he caught that. Yes, oh. my kicker is like 80 kick power. It all comes down to this. I don't, Fine. we're going to go Please. underneath. Cut it back, cut it back. Tackle. Please. Get it out Are there. Are you serious? Whoa. Thank God. Thank the heavens. I finally, <laughs> yes. It's a huge win. We're five and one now. Okay, oh, Dan great. Cook committed. That's good. I've beat you out for recruits this entire video, I'm be honest. After that loss to the Tan Man, I feel like I have to jump into this game at number 20 Boise State. And if I can somehow pull this one off, I'll still feel like there's a chance of me turning this season around. Well, with about three minutes left, we have a three-point lead that we're just trying to hold on to at the end, and Adams is getting it done. But I don't like that we're having to use our backup quarterback. If Matt Foster doesn't come back from injury soon, we could be in a lot of trouble. And it's great and all that we're probably about to beat number 20 Boise State, but I'm still not happy. Well, thankfully, we were able to hold on there. And that's the biggest win we've had in this dynasty. Yeah, I didn't lose on a safety, you know? Remember the one over Bordeaux? We lost two of our last three, which it's not exactly what you want. We're sitting at a nice pristine six and three, four and two in our conference. I'm pretty sure we've already clinched a bowl game. Recruiting wise, we only have one commit right now. It's Jeff Jordan, but we have a ton of guys coming for a visit this week. I guess 17 guys are scheduled. Uh, it's a really important game this week against Air Force. Well, they scored 14 points, so I guess that's cool for them. But yeah, this one's over. We're just going to run the clock out. As our team gallops off the field with joy, it's a great day. Even though my team was the only one to beat Boise State, we ended up finishing at the bottom of our division. And it's the third year in a row I've gone four and eight, but at least I still have a job. It's not perfect. Perfect, but my job security is just high enough. And now we get to see which bowl game Tan Man makes. We finished seven and five, so I'm happy about that. But uh, we didn't make a bowl game. Probably because two of our three wins were FCS schools. We did get a contract extension. You're four and eight, four and eight, four and eight, and they're just not going to can you. If I don't have a good year this year, I'm not going to get a new contract, though. So we transfer now. Yes, oh, three. Three. Oh, no. Not one, not two, but three. That's my quarterback of the future. New defensive coordinator, though. All you have is one dude <laughs> transferring out. We're really going to miss Justin Thomas. He helped us beat Bordell. Well, 
what's official after Tan Man got locked out, we got Derek Rogers. And all around, I finished with the 40th best recruiting class in the country, which is great, especially because it was filled of so many freshmen that are very high overalls. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This class is probably, and not pl probably, it definitely is worse than uh, Mr. Bordeaux's, but hopefully next year we can get some more high overall guys. I take no Oh my gosh. Oh Holy my gosh. <laughs> my team's an 83 overall. Uh, I'm honestly pretty happy with it, but uh, not compared to this guy's team. I feel like this is our championship window coming in at a 90 overall with a senior quarterback. And most of our best players are also seniors. So hopefully we can win a conference championship. Don't lose to North Dakota. I'm a 90 overall. Thank goodness. If we lose to Ball State of all teams, come on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dude. Well, six weeks into the season right now, this is what the conference standings are looking like. And I'm not going to lie, as a 90 overall team, I'm not happy with the loss at San Jose State. And now I'm going to make the same mistake as last year. So we scheduled Ball State, Western Michigan, and Akron. We went two and one of those games. If I can win this game, I don't think there's any chance you can win the conference. Gosh, I saw Please. it. Let's go. Yes, smack the merit. Running back, get out there. No. Please, for the love of God, I need to fumble. Four seconds. Okay, that's fine. We're going to try it, though. Yes, yes. Grace. That was perfect. Okay. He's toasted him. Yeah, we're good. Dude, that's a cool... What the f***? These contains, bro. Pick it, pick it, hit him. Oh, you. God. Ooh. How hard is it to just have one game that's not close? Don't like that. Um. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Cover two. Dude, I couldn't even adjust anything. I don't know, dude. My defensive line is supposed to be the strong point of my team, but you get 10 times more pressure than I do sending three. You should have a quarterback, dude. I can't wait for that guy to leave. He's not in. He's, so he's not good during sim. For the fourth annual rivalry game, North Dakota State comes out on top. So I have four people, by the way. I don't know what type of great class this is supposed to be. I don't understand how a 90 overall team is losing this bad to Air Force. The sim in this game just doesn't make any sense at all. This should be our year where we win the conference. Okay, that's very fortunate. At the absolute bottom of the Mountain West Conference, lost two games in a row after we lost to Mr. Bordeaux's, and yeah, our defense has just been putrid. But for this week, we're playing Wyoming on the road. Somehow they're six and one. We just need to try and get seven here, and just hope that our defense can hold on, or maybe score at the buzzer. Oh no, we don't need to touchdown. The last play of the game, though. We just gotta make sure we don't fudge this up. Come on, guys. Not this stupid. Thank you. It's a long shot, but Utah State has lost, and with Wyoming losing to Tan Man, we could still win it. I could see us losing this game. I won't even be surprised. Thank goodness. You just keep winning these close battles, man. Going into this Utah State game, we are one game behind them in the conference. And thankfully, that's because we pulled away a couple close results and we're on a four-game winning streak. This is the most important game in this dynasty. And with 19 seconds left on fourth and goal, we're going to hold them. Ever since I switched to the 4-3, the defense has played better. While both of these last games are very important for Sam, I could win the conference and Tan Man could end up making a bowl game. So first, we'll see how mine goes against Montana, and it is going to be a five-point win. There we go, guys. Yes, we finally got a bowl game. This Mountain West Conference Championship game is not going to be easy. And through the first quarter and a half, I feel like we've just been the better team. With four minutes left, we are still up by eight. So I think we're going to end up being okay. But I'm not going to lie. I'm not happy with how the offense has played. I built this team around having a solid defense though. And they've done everything that we've needed to as Kelly is going to get this interception. What a perfect ending this is going to be. And North Dakota State has won the Mountain West, meaning we will be in the Pac-12 next season. Now it's time to see which bowl games we made. And I have to play number seven Arizona while Tan Man has to play against FAU. Remember, if we win these, we can then go after four and five star recruits. So this is incredibly important. I'm not thrilled that we're playing against the number seven team in the country, but it hasn't mattered. And even though our defense stopped playing as well, we just need one more first down. But with that drop, we have to get it here and that is going to be game. Thankfully, we can now go after four and five star recruits. Oh, I can't believe they're able to lift him up. Down to the reds are looking to score. Jake, make a play. Come on, Jakey. Jakey Poo. Jake, let's go. Well, we're slapping them around so far. We're going to kick out this field goal, though, to get a 23-point lead at the half. So hopefully we just don't choke this. We ended up winning 51 to nothing. It's a great day to be a Jackrabbits fan. I guess it was a good thing they didn't fire you. If I was the AD, I would have tossed you. A five-year extension. I mean, I'll take it. We definitely had our best season yet, but we did it at the cost of pretty much losing all of our best players to graduation. Since uh, Mr. Bordeaux is going to be moving on to the Pac-12, we need to win the Mount West next year. And there's no reason why we shouldn't. So my strategy is uh, not one I'm happy about taking in but uh, marcus he's gonna be our rival for the next four years i think i've tricked tan man i told him i was gonna dump all 15k into marcus rice but i actually wanted to save some extra and i'm hoping he doesn't go after him but evidently paid off he clearly didn't put any points into marcus and we're gonna end up finishing with the 56 best recruiting class in the country which isn't my best work yet but there's still a lot of great guys in here a lot of jucos and a lot of athletes but you know what i'm pretty happy with it well it looks like we got bamboos on a trick 14 man class our two best guys were jucos i'm pretty happy with the overall haul but the bright to this deck sure you can go up to four and five
five star recruits so we can make up for a lot of losses that we've had in the last couple years. This is the first year my training results have actually been good. There's a lot more fives than threes. North Dakota State has officially made it into the Pac-12. How's it going over there, Tan Man? It's all right. We'll, we'll see you next year in the Pac-12. For my first year in the Pac-12, I'm actually happy to say that we're projected to finish third in our division. And even though Aaron Adams is younger and a higher overall, I'm going to be starting senior Clay Thomas. Looks like we're up to an 86 overall. We're projected second in our conference uh, division this year. So really hope we can win it. I'm honestly pretty happy with the quality players in the team. I just feel like we don't have much depth. I said put it at our place. They said we want to play at Central Michigan, and we lose. We lose. I hate this team. And you didn't even finish your recruiting, so that's great, too. Well, I was awfully confident in the preseason and uh, has not exactly uh, come to fruition. Beat Akron by three, lost to Colorado State. They, they're one and four. So, yeah, all three of our losses are just no bad. I'm definitely not happy that during our non-conference games, we lost one of them. But after also losing to USC, I'm guessing that we're not going to have a great year in the Pac-12. I'm also going to make a quarterback switch just because I want to get junior Aaron Adams involved. And I'm also going to force him to sling it by running an air raid offense. We've made it to season six and we still suck. Oh, 14 is my tight end. Oh, he looks massive. Ooh, running back's wide Dude, open. Who? Truck this him, game. truck That's him. That's unfortunate. Oh Let's no. Get in there, Smith. No. Smith. Wow. Oh my God. Oh no. There we That's go. My There's zone. that That's bomb we zone. were talking about. There's that bomb we were talking about. Let's go. Tackle. Oh, Dude, yes. I swear. Yep, get out. This get is out. ridiculous. Come on, this is Come legitimately on. ridiculous. He's got 98 speed. This dude has this 98 is speed. I was about to say, just... he did not get all the way into the end zone. I'd be upset. Four dudes over there. Oh, gosh. I there just go. got There it eight. is. Bye, bye. Alfred Gwayne. Oh, that's open. That's open. Dude. Come on. Come on, Hollis. All the way in. Oh. Oh, Keep come on. Keep on going. Oh, Keep on, on okay, going. Score. That's fine. Keep on okay, going. score. That's all right. Are you going to go for this? Because you have 38 seconds left. If I don't get this, I can get the ball back with three timeouts. So I don't see why I wouldn't try to go for oh. it with. Goodness gracious. Oh no. Perfect. Catch. Thank oh you. Gosh. Thank you. 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 You can Why get tackled inbounds here. Go ahead. Yes. There's no way I wouldn't have time with 17 seconds left when we get tackled inbounds. The interception's coming. Tackle him inbounds. Tackle him inbounds. That's inbounds. That is inbounds. Come on, boys. Hurry. You're working That's close inbounds. To the line. Come on, boys. I don't know hurry. if you're going to get this the off. Line. Yeah, I'm not going to get it. You cannot be serious, dude. Two. No. One. No. Please. Yes. Yes. It's always a good one. It is always a good one. Well, unfortunately, like expected, there's not a chance I win our division this year, but we're still bowl eligible and I am going to play against Utah because 81 overall athlete Mark Ray is on a visit here and he has 98 speed. Evidently, we were just a bit better than Utah. The fact that we held them to 14 is very good. We won, but I just don't think it's going to be enough to get Mark Ray. He's on a visit to Syracuse this week. Mark Ray committed to our team. He was on a visit at Syracuse and he decided to commit. They're not even on his board anymore. We just landed the five star 98 speed guy. I'm not as upset about the loss to Central Michigan considering they finished 11 and 1 and USC did as well, but the loss to Cal does hurt. After that heartbreaking loss, we really turned things around. And this is a minor miracle. We started 1 and 5, but we finished 6 and 6. So yeah, just great job, guys. We had to turn the season around. On the recruit front, though, things are going pretty decent. I'm not exactly like ecstatic about the class, but there's definitely some really good players I'm happy about landing. I get to play in the Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl. You get the cheese at one. I mean, I'm not sure I should really be excited about this but we are going to dominate in the sun bowl against georgia tech in our bowl game we're playing old dominion oh this is a touch on x yeah i knew that was coming touchdown oh that's game over jerome thomas way to seal the w buddy looks like ben 10 and troy fagan are both going to stay thank the heavens we have like 10 guys graduating as well but honestly we're not missing too much well it sure did not feel like it but i guess i signed a top 10 class and i guess i'm really happy about it because i was able to get 98 speed mark ray and future quarterback michael sharp i think it's without a doubt our best haul yet and what if like more guys in this class but maybe Maybe we'll do that for next year. We signed a top 30 class. It doesn't help that we didn't really sign that many guys. I think I have to put Mark Ray at halfback with 98 Dude. speed. For once, we are rejected at the top of the Mountain West Conference Mountain Division. Really happy about that. Just thank goodness for Troy Fagan coming back. I mean, I really need him to explode this year. If Please, North Dakota. Please, North Dakota. North how how i'm a 97 overall this is our year to make the playoffs because we're so much better than everybody else in our conference by overall but we lose to north dakota so james uh can i have a post-game press conference for what just occurred we f***ing suck is that all you have to say coach james I, i'm i regret to form, reform, inform you this might be the happiest day of my life you know i can't make the playoffs now well considering we just lost to an fcs school i'm expecting us to lose to ucf and we are going to actually win this but not against north dakota we started the season one and well we beat north dakota which is something that uh mr uh bordeaux cannot say and then uh, lost to michigan state by four this is gonna be fun isn't it another one interesting touchdown let's go jerome oh yeah Tackles. get out get out get out oh go he's quick he's quick 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, this is awesome. I love it. Did you just move all those guys over there for me? Go, 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 Tackles. go, go, you... go, dive. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Four years of him. Four years. <laughs> I'll take it. I'm not going to complain. Pick it, pick it, pick it. Yes. Alan is manned up on that. Perfect. I have a little bit of joy using my five-star recruit that I worked so hard to get. He's just so good. I think the thing to go with here is a run. I think that's the way I want to end the half. He's just so Are fast. You, come on, come on. Dude. 11 seconds left in the half and you run the ball. <laughs> this, dude. It worked. You weren't expecting it. I like the open side of the field. Oh, God. Oh, Ooh, God. That, sh that should have been a fucking fumble. Oh, yeah, we're good. We got time. We got time. No, don't. no chance. Oh, no. no chance. No, no chance. No. Uh, I think we can hold you. I think we can hold you. You're at the 10 now? Yeah, we're fine. Oh, I had to run commit. Please. No. Go. Let's go, oh. baby. 19 seconds left, one time out, and I'm going to go with the run because if the run works, then it works. That's a first down. Five, four, three. Get out. Get out. Get out. No. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh, come on. Man. Overtime. Let's go, boys. He has a lot of time in the pocket. Oh, Perfect. no. Let's go. No way. Oh, we left it. You left it. You left it, baby. Let's go. Come on. Let's get out to the outside. Tackles, go, Shane. Please. Go, Shane. Oh, no, I Tackles, did it wrong. Tackles, thank you, thank you. You fudged that up. We're just going to try to score Tackles. anyway. He cut that back so smooth. Oh, get in that open space. Get in the open space. Oh, dude, my what goodness. Is that? He's this so is ridiculous, good. dude. Okay, third and three. Please, get please. It. Yes, no. good fight! We're in a tight spot here. This is not an easy place to score, man. Oh. Yes. Good, good two. Good two, D. Good D. Wait, can I return this? Can I return this? Come on. Come on. Get out. Get out, please. I don't think he's fast enough. Yes. Guy over there this time, but I want to get him out. Come on. Oh. Uh, thank guys. Yeah. No. Yes. What, yes. What, yes. what did he do? What is he doing? I've never seen anybody punch it out like that before. That's I told crazy. you he's a freshman, man. He's a freshman. He gets rattled easily. And now if I score here, you're just going to be even more rattled. Oh my God, please. Yes. Oh no. Yes. Oh. I had him, but I didn't have enough time. Oh, he is wide open. Dude, what in the world? Cut it. Cut it. Let's go, Ray. Tackle, Cut please. Cut it to the outside. Cut it to the outside. Yes, yes, Dude, there's yes. just no shh. I love him. He's so good. Y you know. Yeah, all right. We already know no it's going to be a touchdown. Way. You got a glitch. There's no way that I was doing a quarterback sneak. Hopefully, this works out for me. Halfback draw. Draw, please. Get in. Get yes. in. No Let's way. Oh, thank you. I am simply just stating the fact. If you don't get this, I just kick three and I win the game. Oh, uh, that's not yes. open. Yes, yes. Go. Please. No. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's go. Uh, Finally, man, yes, yes. That's what you should have done that. last year. That's what you should have done I last know. year. I still can't believe I lost to North Dakota. That makes no sense. We're starting to cook over here in South Dakota. Pretty much, if we want to have a chance at winning our division this year, we need Colorado to lose. They ended up beating us, even though we've won since then. It's just depressing how we started the year. We yep, lose again. Yep, I that. don't understand. We're a 97. <laughs> Things are going beautifully in Brookings, uh, South Dakota. I mean, I've been waiting for this for so many years, but it, it's finally happening so after the heroic win over mr bordeaux we went on a four oh, it's a five game win we're just killing teams left and right man on the recruit front we got four guys committed and they're all very good at football so definitely happy about having them on board for this week though we're playing air force and they're uh, second in our division so yeah it's as simple it's a must win game the offense you just gotta try and seal the deal here boys we got this come on guys beat man coverage thank you touchdown touch thank you sayonara air force we're still uh, undefeated in conference play dude if there was a year to win a natty it'd be this year i'm so sad i'm not in the pac 12 boys let's not overcome the situation we are the better football team just go out there and showcase it <laughs> wait you might know. lose your conference what's it going what's it like over there tanner you gotta hope that they lose to somebody everything just changed because you can now lose the mountain west and i can potentially win the pac-12 if colorado just loses one more game we don't have the tiebreaker over them though utah ended up putting up a good fight but we should have the edge in the end ray is just too good and this means we're going to finish the regular season at eight and four giving us a chance to win the pac-12 at this point all i can do is root for a colorado loss what's going to happen in boise state's game please they won yes They've won the conference. It's unfortunate, but Colorado ended up winning out, so I will not make the Pac-12 championship. And it's official. Depression is real. Try Fagan. Had a phenomenal year this year, just unfortunately did not win the Mountain West, but good job to you, buddy. Well, at this point in the dynasty, it doesn't make any sense to continue to jump into bowl games. So I'm just going to sim them, and we won the Las Vegas Bowl. All right, boys, time for a butt whooping. Let's give the Pirates the guillotine. Come on, boys, come on. Let's go, Sugar Bowl time. I'm doing so well that even after seven years, they want to give me another six-year extension. We're losing Aaron Adams and a lot of really good seniors. I'm not sure if the team's going to be much better next year, but hopefully we can finally make a playoff push. Oh, Ben 10. Gonna miss you, buddy. He didn't really produce like a 
first round draft pick, but you know what? He's good enough. Have fun in the NFL, kid. More sad news. Uh, Thomas is transferring, and so is Titus. But we do have two quarterbacks getting drafted. Maybe that'll help recruiting. At least I hope so. Tanner and I are competing for these last few players. And if I'm going to be honest, I'm just going to put it all on chat. I don't really need Pat Burke. He's just a quarterback and he's not good compared to the guys I got. So the mindset is we want Chad Bronner really badly because he's a 77 overall. He might be a Juco, but he can help us out pretty quickly compared to Pat Burke. So we'll see how things go. Time to find out what happened. I'm hoping I was able to get who I wanted and I did. That is very good. Look at that. We both finished with top 10 recruiting classes. As for mine, I really don't like it. But at the end of the day, it's just more people that we can get onto the field, more depth, and hopefully we can pull something off next year. As for my class, I'm honestly really happy with it. Um, it it's not like it's some world beater or some special, but it is a top 10 class and we did pick up some studs. So I'm definitely happy with it. Well, going into season eight, thankfully I'm projected to win the Pac-12. Dion's done a great job with Colorado, but we're just a little bit better. I'm also not sure how I feel about this, but I am going to start freshman Michael Sharp. I said I would do it and he might only be an 83, but I think he's going to be really good. Looks like our defense made a big step up, but our offense took a step back because Troy's gone. But I mean, honestly, we're projected the top, but last year we were too. And at quarterback though, we're going to start Garrett Fontaine. He's got 90 speed. He's a little, he's a little shorter on the shorter side. And the rest of the roster, we got two really good offensive linemen. It's just, there's a lot of high quality guys. There's just not as much depth, unfortunately. Going into our rivalry matchup, me versus Tanman, we are both undefeated. So this is going to be a massive one. This is miserable. This is our lowest scoring game yet. We both have like 97 defenses. Pick it, dude, pick it, no pick it. Shot, yes, dude. yes, yes. All right. Oh, that block was really? huge. Gets That's ridiculous. Ooh. Oh, no. Please be yes, an underthrow. Please, please be that. an underthrow. No, Touchdown. no. Oh, I needed a touchdown fast right there. No, 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 no. Yes. You floated it. No. No. Yes. Okay. Yep, sorry. Yep. No. No. Yes. Go get no. six. Go no. get six. Oh, okay. no. yes. Thank you. Thank no. you so much. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Oh, I want to throw circles. Touchdown. Yes. I should have just run out the clock, but that would yeah. have been fun. Oh. Pick it, pick it. Oh yes, my. yes. All right, for the win. Come on. Thank goodness. Oh, good. We actually got the result we deserved against North Dakota this year. Last year, we lost to Colorado. If it happens again, I'm going to be depressed, but it doesn't. Visit week against UCLA is not going to go yes! well. Yes, yes. I have to go 5-0 and in these games if I want to make the playoffs. And I also cannot lose the conference with some of those very tough matchups. Things started really hot, and then uh, last week we lost to Air Force, but I still feel pretty confident. We got to play Boise this week. We're playing really good so far to start, but I really would have wished that we got seven right here. But we're going to have to settle for three, but... I hate my life. Did you miss that? No, it's, I made it, I made it. How did you miss a 28 yard field goal? Thank the heavens we beat Boise State this year. We just need to win the Mount West. I'm tired of this stupid conference. We need to go to the Pac-12. I want to start playing uh, in those big boys. At least I'm going to win the Pac-12 this year, theoretically. With three minutes left, we're going to have a one point lead on the Utes. All right, so a win over Utah means we're going to win our division. And that's great and all, but I really want a playoff spot. How did we oh, lose so to beautiful. USF by so 17? Beautiful. Even though we just lost a game we shouldn't have, I can still be happy that we are going to be in the Pac-12 championship and it's time to take down Stanford. They're ranked fifth in the country, so it could end up being a close game, but I'm just hoping that we're able to stay on top. I gotta say, I absolutely love our defense because this has to be one of the most lopsided Pac-12 championship games ever, but it makes you wonder how we ever lost three games in Sam. Well, after we beat boys, we finished 10 and two. So, I mean, look at our points for and points against. We uh, pushed on and we won three straight, but now we're going in our conference title game against San Diego State. We need to win this. I want to be in the Pac-12 next year. Not a good situation. We really need to get to stop or uh we will lose this game they're the oh god what an awful play call that's game over it looks like we finally have won the mount west Canvers, and we could finally join bordeaux in the pac-12 next year well in my bowl game the rose bowl we lost to wisconsin and in the game we beat florida atlantic the owls and we have a ton of guys going to the nfl draft go live out your dreams boys i hope you guys have a great time i'm literally losing so many really good people this is gonna be tough all right so we're signing day we're not gonna go after josh jones because uh i i can't go after all four of these guys i'm in like four dog fights you know the fact that i'm gonna get an 81 overall male linebacker most likely i'm happy with that i am happy to say that i finished with the number one class in the country and this is nice because for the first time in a while i feel amazing about all the players i was able to get it's a very deep class of a ton of high overalls. Bordeaux might have finished number one, but we were down the pecking order at seven. This is definitely probably one of our two best classes here. I mean, I'm really happy about Brad and Anthony. I mean, those guys really, I mean, just, I'm happy with the class, man. How's it feel to be in the Pac-12 now? It feels magical. You know, it took me a little too long. We are almost a part of the best conference. And so it appears we are projected to win the Pac-12 East. We'll see how it goes, though, against uh, Mr. Bordeaux in North Dakota State. When it comes to the roster, though, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Greg Fontaine's gonna be back at quarterback. We have really good running backs with uh, Julius Brewster and Bruce Mitchell. I'm 
I'm really happy about those two big bowling balls. I strongly believe we have the better team than Tanner on paper, including better than the rest of the Pac-12 as well, but that has not proven to mean anything throughout this rebuild. So if I'm being honest, I won't even be surprised if we lose week one to North Dakota. Thankfully, we didn't. Well, it's finally happened. I am sitting as the number one team in the country, and if we scroll down a little bit, we might be able to find South Dakota State. In all seriousness, though, this is going to be a tight battle for the top spot in our division. And I finally have my first Heisman candidate in Dustin Roberts, which means he's been starting because Michael Sharp got injured. Since we're 5-0, I'm going to stick with him as the starter for the rest of the season. And I've scheduled everybody for a visit this week against Colorado. So surely we're going to go out and get the win, which we do. I mean, we had an awesome year, 10-1. and I mean, I'd like to not talk about the one loss, but it's, it's going to have to be brought up. Uh, we lost to five and six Nevada. But all that matters is this game against Bordeaux. Third down. Come on. Come on, team. Yeah, we're Why good. did he not catch it? Hit him right in the helmet. Holding you to three. It's great. I'll take it. Got him. Got him. That's a perfect throw. Look at Vincent go. What's happening here on fourth and one? No, no. Oh, that's what's happening. A stop. I hope you drag this. Oh, that's perfect. You didn't drag that one. That's sexy. Let's go. Six point late half. Third, third and 14. Third and 14. Yes. Dude, it's a... There's no way that that guy can play. Oh, gosh. Just, what are you doing, Mordo? What are you doing? He threw it on a delay. It was open for the, like, off the snap. But if I still make the playoffs, it is what it is. That's all that matters. Oh, Fontaine. Oh, add insult to injury, Fontaine. Add insult to injury, baby. All I can say, it's a great day to be a South Dakota resident and also to be a Jackrabbits fan, baby. So after our glorious victory over Bordeaux, we do win the Pac-12 East. So we're moving on to the Pac-12 championship. And it looks like we are playing California. Thank goodness I should make it because North Carolina and Florida State play. So no matter what, I should have a spot in the playoffs. The Locos might not be right, but thankfully we both made the playoffs. And that's because Tanner beat Cal in the conference championship while Wisconsin lost to Michigan. Michigan. For my semifinal matchup, I have to take on FSU. And I'm not going to lie, after not scoring for an entire quarter, I think it's time to make a quarterback switch. Last year, I started him. This year, he got hurt and he got benched after that. So Michael Sharp is coming back into the starting lineup. And so far, we seem to be doing so much better with him back there throwing the rock. To end the first half, I'm hoping we can get into the end zone, which we're able to do. And it has definitely been a defensive battle, but we are finally going to take a lead. At the end of the third, we are up by one. And we might be able to run out the clock here, but instead, I'm just going to take it in with Mark Ray. It'll all come down to getting one more defensive stop and I'm going to get the sack. So I'll be moving on to the national championship where there's a good chance I'll have an opportunity to get revenge against Tanner. Hey boys, playing the Tire Heels. Come on, Fontaine. Oh yeah, Fontaneous. Fontaneous! 14 point leads, boys. Keep the foot on the pedal. We gotta win this. It all comes down to this. They, they stormed all the way back, which is not what we wanted, but it's all right. We can still score right here and win this bad boy. It's gonna be a crazy rematch, though, assuming this goes in. That's close, though. Yes, okay. Jackrabbits. The Jackrabbits won it all. We have spent 30 hours doing an online dynasty, and it comes down to just one matchup to decide who wins. Why is he wide open? Was oh, yes! Yeah! Go. Fake him out. Fake him out. Go, Sharp. Come on. Let's go. Get him, get him. Perfect. Goal line oh hold God, here. This is dude. it. Fourth and goal. Yes, touchdown. Let's go. Yes! No. no. Yeah. Let's cut it back. Tackle. Let's cut it back. Dude, Let's cut it back with him. Right Let's now. cut it back That's with like him. The... Swerve him. Swerve him. Let's go, Mark Ray. Let's go. That might be the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I knew it. I knew Let's it. Go. Let's go, Garrett. I knew Let's it. go, Garrett. I knew Let's it. go. Come on, baby. Yeah. Third down. Oh. That's a hot head top. Top. Catch it. No way. Oh my God. How did he get back to that? I don't know. All right. Up 10 and a half. He gets ball though. He's with some halftime adjustments. He's clearly rattled. Third string quarterback in right now. And on the read That's, option, he's even. gone. That's awesome. Offense is humming. Just need to get another stop on defense, boys. Go. Go. Yes. There's the, where was the zones at in the middle of the field? I am rattled. I'm pissed off right now, as I should be. Getting a little rattled. I feel like the punt's coming. I feel like he's just wasting clock. Do I have the final drive? Go again. Spin out of there. Let's go, Landry. Dude, that like, spin move is so clean. That was the slowest spin move I've ever seen in my entire life, and it worked. Oh, shoot. I got stuck. I got stuck. Someone make a play on him. Tackle him. Here we go, Someone. Fontaine! Pick it, pick it. Yes, that's, yes, yes. That's it. A run commit. A run yes. commit. Really, that's ridiculous. Yes. That is ridiculous. Oh my God, dude. Uh, yes. That is ridiculous. That is it's absurd. Over. If you are expecting the run, should oh, every stop person it. get open? Stop it. Stop no. it. Stop justifying no. your bad play call. Stop justifying that was it. A I just got so hoed. Oh bad play God. call. Who, who, who just won a, a national pick. championship? This is who literally just, in the name of who it. Who just won it? It's literally in the name of it. Who just won it all? Hopefully you guys enjoyed the wild ending along with the online rebuild. Build. And Tanman and I did a whole separate one over on his channel, which you can find by clicking the link in the description or on screen.